everyone wants to get placed in a product based company but very few make it there are eight things you need to know no matter what point you are in your life if you follow these eight points you can get placed in a product based company the first thing is you need to know the fundamentals okay fundamentals includes two things first one is mastering dsa data structures and algorithms second is knowing the four core subjects which get asked in every interview the four core subjects are first one is oops concepts okay object oriented programming concepts second is computer networking how the networking happens and third thing is database management system every application is connected to our database and how that connection happens and what are the concepts related to database that things fourth one is operating system okay these four subjects are very important the companies are looking for people who can think clearly and come up with solutions not just the ones who know about these subjects okay so dsa plus these four subjects second thing you need to choose one language and go in depth you can choose c plus plus java python don't change them all choose one and go in depth the logic being at the end you will be working on one project and one framework and your whole career will be built around one framework if you go in depth regarding one framework that will be more beneficial for you no one works on all the frameworks okay one framework the career will be built around that the third thing is leverage platforms platforms in the sense they are code forces geek for geek and lead code and code chef in these problems are there the interview problems okay and the companies look for the people who know how to solve those problems okay that's the basis of a selection solve one problem daily okay not less than one not more than one one problem daily because it helps build the skills first thing second thing is it also helps build the consistency and consistency is the main key in this whole journey the fourth thing is you need to work on real life project if some real life problem is there and you know how to come up with a solution for that and make a project around it that's what the companies love for because companies also exist to solve real life problems not just to do apps to do apps can be done using ai and they have no value in today's times okay fifth thing is start internship early start as early as your third year starts okay fifth, fifth semester start internships online internships are there free ones unpaid ones paid ones experience experience is very important okay that's the main point and companies love the people who have experience and they select the people who have more experience so if you start your internship in fifth semester your experience start, uh, your experience starts okay most people do it after graduation that is very late you will have two years ahead of them advantage okay the sixth thing is tailor your resume according to who you are it should reflect exactly how you are suppose that you are at 10 you have done everything whatever is needed but your resume just shows half of it the interviewer will think you just know half of it and you will be treated accordingly so that is no point highlight the skills you have highlight the projects you have done highlight the codes you have done and seventh step is run system design how the app should be made and how it can be scaled how it can be made more optimized so knowing about these things earlier in your career and um showing the interviewer that you know about these things those things will get ahead of many other people because most people don't know what system design is but eventually that is the thing which matters and companies are looking for the people who know how to play in the long term the last thing is you need to network very well and uh, mock interviews you need to give okay mock interviews that's pretty common sense because the more better you give the interview the more chances of a selection are okay so practice is important networking wise it's important see the logic being why networking is important there are two ways to get selected first one is on campus second is off campus on campus the companies come to the college and you choose among the companies that will be a restricted uh, one you have to choose among a selected company but if you have off campus skills you can reach out to any company you want and you can uh, give the referrals most of the selections in the high end happens through referrals so the eight points uh, forget any of these and follow them with consistency